What is happening guys? Bob here, Rides Auto Sales. Got a couple of people asking for a video of this beautiful 71 resting on the showroom floor here in Bismarck, North Dakota. Once again, yes I do know it has a 70 front clip. Yes I do know it has a 70 rear bumper. With that all being said, this is still tag titled as a 1971 Chevelle and it is a beautiful 71 Chevelle. Let's go ahead and jump on the interior here, give you a nice little cold start so you guys can hear this thing run. You can see Dakota Digital gauges light up. All gauges work as they should. This car is an absolute blast to drive. We'll go ahead and give you a quick fire up, quick cold start. As you can see, cowl hood does work. Couple more revs before we shut her down. Tack. Cowl. Shut that down. Let's jump in this engine bay while we do have the hood open so you can take a peek at that. As you can see, this 454 four volt main motor does rest in between these fenders very, very well. You got a hydro boost brake set up on this thing. Um, and they, the brakes are very, very nice on this thing. Hydro Boost System does an excellent job of stopping this big block beast. If you don't know Hydro Boost Systems, take a look around. A lot of diesel guys using them. Um, a lot of it being adapted into muscle car as well. Power steering, um, that is brand new as well. Aluminum radiator, dual electric fans. You can see this does have an AC compressor on it. Lines are capped off on the rear, as you can see. Go ahead and close this hood. You can get a nice view with the hood down. Let's close this driver's side door here too real quick. You can see one finger on this, no need to slam it. Nice and solid. Go ahead and jump back. Get this thing into full frame for you from this side. Take a look at those undercarriage pictures. Suspension is set up pretty nice on this thing as well. Got a set of lowering springs up front. Go ahead and cruise across the front. You're gonna see all headlight bezels are all brand new. Shine nice and bright and true, look great. Front bumper looks absolutely phenomenal. Grill looks great. You can see this hood lines up with the fenders very, very well, panel gaps. From fender to hood on both sides line up nicely. Hood sits nice and flush with the fenders as well. No weird spring above the fenders or anything like that. Cruising down passenger side, you're gonna see nice smooth contours, crisp lines. Um, body lines line up great from panel to panel as you can see. Panel gaps from fender to door line up great from door to rear quarter. Line up great as well. Take a look at this vinyl top. Vinyl is finished out very, very nicely. No bubbles, no rust issues in your typical areas that you have with black vinyl tops. Windshield is brand new. All bright work around windshield and rest of the trim also looks nice, polished very well. I'll go ahead and pop this passenger side door open for you. As you can see, all new gaskets the whole way through on this thing. Um, nothing weather checked or weird. All replaced, all seals up very, very well. And go ahead and put one finger on passenger door. Give that thing a close as well. Trunk lid looks great. Once again, panel gaps from trunk lid to rear quarters all line up very, very well. Rear tires running some Mickey Thompson drag radials. Um, once these tires are warmed up, this thing does grip up very well. It's a blast off the start. 
Take a look at this rear bumper. Presents itself very, very nicely once again. Rear roll pad looks great. Cruising down driver's side, once again, nice smooth contours, crisp lines. Couple of flaws on the car, point out for you here. There's one little chip that has been touched up there. Uh, one little chip that has been touched up there. It's kind of tough to see even. Um, once again, if it's, if it's my car, I'm gonna notice it. If it's not somebody's car, this thing's gonna look great. Cruising down. Driver's side, once again, pedal gap from rear quarter to door looks great. From door to front fender, once again, also looks great. Mirrors are brand new. Another little chip here that has been touched up, but like I said, you know, it's tough to see. Especially if it's not your car, nobody's gonna notice it. We'll go ahead and pop this door open. Give you a little bit of interior tour once again. Door panels look good. Once again, new seals all the way around. All these seals are all brand new. Um, nothing weather checked or anything like that. Rear quarter glass is also new. Um, all this trim, once again, all brand new. Seats look pretty good as well. You got one little nick here. Carpets are all nice and clean, free of any stains or anything like that. Like I said, Dakota digital gauges, you got a digital output for a mile per hour. Really like the Dakota digital setup in this. Um, center console looks really good as well. Shift plate is nice and clear. This car does have vents, so if you're gonna plumb in AC, um, you already got vents to go to. Dash pad looks great. And once again, no weather checking, anything like that. Dash pad looks phenomenal on this thing. You can see passenger door panel looks great. Also got some custom kick panels on the bottom to hold a set of speakers for you. And go ahead and jump out of this thing show you the back seat here real quick uh, this car does have GM belts in all four corners as well GM belts for the rear just the way Chevy intended it to be as you can see all rear looks really good headliner looks good dome light does work sun visors hold up sun visors are nice and tight they're not gonna vibrate down on you when you're driving Go ahead and close driver's side door for you here real quick. Jump over to the other side so we can get this into full frame for you before we do close, guys. And that is a beautiful 71 Chevelle. That does look like a 70, yes I know. Sitting on the showroom floor in Bismarck, North Dakota, guys. This is a beautiful car. Um, you're not going to pay the 70 price tag that most 70s are bringing out there, but you're going to have the 70 look. Hey, nobody's going to know. Car looks absolutely phenomenal and is a blast to drive. This car was built to drive and it looks mean and it is mean. Guys, once again, Bob Rides Auto Sales coming to you from Bismarck, North Dakota. Email address, phone number will be directly below this link. On my my page you can also click that website link go directly to my website if you like muscle cars you like cool stuff you like imports hit that subscribe button and stay up to date follow my journey at rides auto sales Bismarck North Dakota thanks for watching guys have a good one